Hi, I'm Mike, and this is Mike's Road Trip. Get off the road! All right. Hi, I'm Mike. And I'm Miha from World Travel Bug. We just recently purchased a brand new travel trailer and discovered there are a lot of things that you need to buy after you buy the trailer. Yeah, we thought that many of these things would come with the trailer. Um, guess what? They don't. Yeah, so on this episode, we are going to break it all down for you. We're going to show you all the things that you absolutely need uh, before you take off and hit the road, as well as a number of things we think that you probably want to get. Uh, and we're going to link, to make it even easier for you, we're going to put links down below the, the video. And on top of that, we will create a PDF checklist, downloadable checklist to help you yeah, even more. Absolutely. And full disclosure, uh, many of the links you'll find in the description box will be Amazon affiliate links. And that just helps us produce more helpful content for you. So come along with us and let, let us show, show you around. You. First and foremost, what do you need more after air, before food? <laughs> water. Agua. And although we don't drink water from this, we have a water filter because, you know, it's for cleaning the dishes and everything. It's not just for showering and everything. The very, very first thing that I urge you to buy. No, it doesn't come with a trailer. Yeah, actually, let's uh, break this down a little bit. So this is a water safe hose. You definitely want that. You don't use just any old hose. The other thing, there is an attachment here. You want to get a filter. Yeah. Again, we don't drink the water from here, but you could certainly could. Uh, but that's that's something else. So. And attached to this is not here. Oh, it's actually here. Um, oh yes, this is later. huge. Yes. <laughs> we found out later, you know, by experimenting, you need a water pressure regulator. After a few floods. <laughs> Well, flood, one so flood, <laughs> a number of leaks. Um, see, what happens is, is when the water comes in from, say, city water to campground, you have very high pressure uh, at some, some locations. And so you need a pressure reducing valve like this that just screws onto your hose. And this will reduce the pressure to be safe for your RV. Why this is not built in? I have yeah. no idea. It's ridiculous. And I'm laughing because in the first days we were just enjoying the pressure of our shower. Yeah. Like, oh my God, we're in a trailer and look at the pressure. Little did we know what was coming to yeah. us later on. Yeah. So well, the, these are only, I think, maybe about seven or eight dollars. It's solid brass. You definitely want to get one of those. Yeah. Nope. The next one is this here, oh, okay. which is your sewer or septic hose. Uh, it doesn't come with one. Definitely have to get one of these. Uh, you can get one at Walmart. Uh, Amazon has them. Oh, yeah. Um, it hasn't happened to us, but we were reading and seeing some videos where people's trailer started moving. So you really need this to put under your wheels to stay to to keep your trailer from moving once you unhook and hitch the, the truck. Yeah, actually, you know, if you're driving a motorhome or an RV, a Class C, for example, you don't really need these, uh, but you absolutely have to have them for a travel trailer because once you've unhooked, uh, this thing could just roll forward or backward. So you absolutely need some of these chocks and you can put them on the front and the back of the wheel it, yeah. depending on if your um, trailer is leaning to one side or the other. I would probably get four. We just actually have two of them, but uh, might want to get four of these. So this isn't quite essential, but most likely you'll want to get a weight distribution hitch, which is all this componentry here. And um, the reason you'll want to get one of these is because it will really make your ride much more comfortable. It will alleviate the trailer from swaying back and forth at high speeds and with uh, high winds. So these things run. This is a Husky, which um, we would certainly recommend. Uh, it's proven really a great product for us. It is, uh, I think this particular one was around $700 installed. Uh, but you can, depending on your size trailer, you could get maybe a smaller unit that would be less expensive. Okay, yeah. this is one thing that you absolutely have to buy that doesn't come with the trailer. It blows my mind. Uh, 
a lug nut wrench. We have this one here. They come in a, a different uh, varieties and styles. Uh, but can you believe that the lug nut that goes with your vehicle most likely will not fit the trailer wheels, Jeez. which is just mind blowing that they do not uh, include this with your trailer. But this is something you want to buy right away. When you're driving, things will shift and move around. So getting some storage bins is essential. From small ones to hold your food, to larger ones that can be stowed below. You'll also want to get some for the refrigerator. Getting a couple of power adapters could also prove helpful down the road. This one converts a 30 amp cable so that it'll fit into a 50 amp outlet. And this one will let you take your 30 amp cable so that you can fit it into a 110 socket. You might want to get an extra LP or propane tank as a backup or to run your barbecue or generator. If you want to watch cable TV at your campground, be sure to pick up a coaxial cable. If you plan on unhitching your trailer to go explore, you'll want to make sure to get a lock for your hitch so that someone doesn't take off with your trailer. To minimize odors from the toilet, consider getting some of these deodorizing tablets. Getting a surge protector is another good idea. We mounted ours below the table so that we could easily plug in our sensitive electronics. A small carpet for the bathroom and kitchen area will make your unit feel a little more homey. We stream almost everything to our iPads or laptops, so we have not purchased a TV yet, but that may be something to consider, as your travel trailer will not come with one. Another must-have are some leveling blocks. These are particularly important when boondocking. So something that might be a little bit more obvious, your bedding. Uh, you'll want, and this will be on the checklist, so it'll really help you. Uh, but you'll want to get maybe a couple pillows, a uh, comforter, duvet. It does come with a bed or a mattress, I should say. Not the most comfortable. Yeah, while we can put this in the optional part, for us it was really not optional. Yeah. And we've heard many people that did the same thing. So we would strongly strongly recommend it now one of the challenges is in our uh, travel trailer this is a full queen but it's a short so it's only 74 inches versus 80 inches so um, the there aren't that many mattress makers that make the queen short so what we ended up doing is getting a mattress topper we got one at Costco I believe and it's actually t uh, Tempur-Pedic the name brand and do you remember how much it was like hundred and sixty $180, something like that. Yeah. And Below. this really is, I mean, when you get on this now, it is on top of the mattress, the kind yeah. of mediocre mattress. Uh, it is quite comfortable now. Yeah. And, and I was laughing because unfortunately we didn't film that, but uh, the way we cut it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, with a very small knife, you know, cutting that thing. But yeah, we actually, um, uh, this this was a full queen at 80 inches, so we had to cut six, uh, six inches off of here, so. But it works. Yeah. Uh, the side that is not completely true, we have up there. there. <laughs> Another thing that you have to have is either a dust broom or a vacuum cleaner. We've got both, we've got the dust broom first, but it wasn't enough, so we got this little guy. Another thing that is a must for us, and I would venture to say for almost everybody out there, yeah. is Wi-Fi. So this little guy was a lifesaver for us um, because the Wi-Fi in the campgrounds is so bad. It's horrible. Um, and if you are further from the reception area, you don't get anything whatsoever we were relying on our phones uh, initially and that's no good either because you don't have good connection or you don't have enough so anyway this this is from nomad internet and it works perfectly everywhere fast reliable yeah you know back to the campgrounds as somebody who well both of us we've stayed at so many hotels around the world and you kind of expect 
there's good internet in your hotel yeah. room. So I sort of expected that at campgrounds they would be broadcasting internet. It's an essential utility today. It's not a luxury. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, I was quite surprised by that. So uh, most of the time at the campgrounds you only get internet at the uh, reception area and if they do offer it, it is very slow and you have to pay for it. it do, it's not included. Yeah, yeah. So if you're going to be camping out boondocking or at campgrounds, you're going to want to get uh, a Wi-Fi hotspot to operate your iPad and your computer and your phones. It works for everything. Yeah, yeah, we are streaming out of it, so we are using it for, for everything. And we work. We work a lot. A lot of pictures, videos, yeah. uh, editing, and it just And it does perfectly. run off of the cellular network, so it's, it's not perfect, but most of the time we yeah. have been out there, okay, it has yeah. been extraordinary good. So. Uh, Nomad Internet is uh, where we get this. And also, this over here is an inverter, uh, inverter generator. And this is, if you're going to be boondocking at all, this is absolutely essential. If you're not going to be boondocking, it might be a luxury item or something that you might want but not necessarily need. And this is powerful enough to operate our entire travel trailer, the air conditioning, the microwave, your hair dryer, all of it. It's, it's amazing. And it's a very, um, it'll be, it's somewhat portable. It's uh, helpful if you have two people, but you don't need them. It's got this really nice handle, so you're able to maneuver it around your campground. This thing runs off of propane or gasoline, which is amazing. So if you run out of gas, spare gas, uh, you can just hook up one of your propane tanks and you're all set to go. So this is from Champion. It's their 3400 uh, inverter. So something else that is maybe more on the things you might want and don't necessarily have to have are a couple of scooters. We absolutely have fallen in love with these. They are fantastic. Uh, they're not only great for commuting around a city or an area, a national park that we want to explore, but some of these campgrounds you stay at, the, they're massive. So yeah. it's a long way to the amenities like uh, laundry, the swimming pool, things like that. So you may want to get there a lot quicker. So we purchased these from Fluid Freeride. We actually, their headquarters are in Miami and we just happen to be in Miami, but they sell all of their scooters online. And uh, this one goes 25 miles on a charge. Uh, I'm sorry, 40 miles on a charge, 25 Good. miles per hour. The speed, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got these things here, which uh, open up and allow you to store stuff, not a lot, but you can put your phone, maybe a camera, things like that in there. Uh, what's so awesome about these two is they're very easily collapsible. And now you can just pick it up and store it in your, the back of your truck, or you could actually just open your trailer door, slide them right in there if you want, yeah. and they're very easy access. could go on and on, but don't want to make this video too long. We wanted to provide some of the highlights and list the most important items. Hey, well that's it from this episode of things that you need to buy after purchasing a brand new travel trailer. And don't forget to download our free PDF checklist or let us know if you have any questions, comments, or even if we forgot to mention anything. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, well thanks so much for watching and until next time. We'll see you on the road.